Hey Cruiser, welcome back to Cruising Coast Craft. I'm Josh. And I'm Nikki. And today we're going to be varnishing the swim platform from good old Stargazer. Some people say varnish makes the heart grow fonder. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. All right, let's get started. We're going to put a few coats of varnish on the swim platform today as a finishing touch before we put it back on the boat in our next video. It's going to add a magnificent glossy sheen to the wood and it'll make it stronger too. Are you ready? I am. To do this, all we're using is varnish, a set of foam brushes, and a Brillo pad that we'll use a little later. You're gonna want a funnel filter or paint filter and a cup for portioning out varnish as you go. You shouldn't put your brush directly into the can. It'll create air bubbles in the varnish and it'll start to get clumpy and harden up on you. This is strong stuff, Cruiser. It smells awful. I definitely recommend doing this in a well-ventilated area and wear a mask too. Gloves are also a must. It gets super messy. You don't wanna get any of the varnish on your hands and you don't wanna get any of the oils from your hands on the platform either. We're starting to spread varnish all along the platform. And we want to make sure that we're getting in between the grooves here. Nikki and I are taking it slow, long, even strokes. We want to make sure that the coat is even and uniform all the way down the whole length and that the platform is completely covered. There are going to be little air bubbles that pop up. So you want someone to go back through where you already spread the varnish and tip those off. Let's take a quick look at the Chris Craft emblem we put in the platform a few weeks ago. We grooved the area around it just enough that the emblem should get a little more varnish than everywhere else. Think of varnish like sunscreen for wood. You never want just one layer. You want to put several on. So we really want the colors in this emblem to stay vibrant. Sunblock 5000. Instead of fading away in the sun. So we're looking for as much UV protection as we can get. Sunblock 5000. Protection for the new age. Between every layer, I'm using a Brillo pad to sand down the surface and make sure it's bonding all the way to the wood. The Brillo pad will smooth it out between each layer and pop any of those bubbles that we missed. Anywhere that the varnish didn't completely bond, this should break it up so that we can fill those pores on the next round. It works really well, but sometimes you gotta put a little elbow grease into it. Don't forget to tap out the dust from the Brillo pad frequently while you're sanding. You want to make sure that you're tapping it out or else you'll just be spreading the dust everywhere. When we're wiping the platform down for these finishing touches, we want to get it as clean as possible. You really don't want the grease or oils from your hands getting on the platform now. So if you've been neglecting your gloves, put them on now. As I work through these projects alongside my family, I realize how we all have different strengths and weaknesses. Sammy is such a quick learner when it comes to picking up new skills. While Nikki might be new to boating and the cruiser lifestyle, she has an artistic hand that makes her far more skilled at varnishing than I am. She has such a clear vision in her head of how things should look when they're done. That artistic eye is one of the things that I admire most about her. We're varnishing one last time to get this platform a nice glossy look. By now, we should be free of any nasty bumps. Because we've sanded this surface so many times, it is super smooth. This is our last coat, so you wanna try and get every inch covered. We're not putting any sandpaper on it after this. So we really wanna make sure that all the air bubbles get tipped off this time. Work the varnish around as much as you can. I, I know, it's a lot like pushing honey around at this point. Woo 
but make sure that you get this coat as smooth as possible. We've come so far with the platform cruiser, and it's hard to believe it's almost done. But this is it. Join us again next time to see the finished platform get put back on the boat. Thanks for joining us today, Cruiser. We love ya. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Until next time, I'm Josh Wells, and remember, Aristotle once said, pleasure in the job puts perfection in the boat. Or something like that. See you next time, Cruiser.